Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So, in The Walking Dead Season 9, Alpha is pretty much the new main villain. Sort of like how Negan and the Governor were the main villains in the past. Alpha is basically the main villain right now. And most likely she will survive all the way to Season 10. I mean, she's pretty much just been introduced in the back half of Season 9. So, more than likely she will be a, a huge threat in Season 10. Uh, season 9 would be way too early to kill her off. However, there is a possibility that she will die in Season 10. Um, and she might not even make it to the second half of Season 10. She could get killed off in the first half of Season 10. She could be the big death in the mid-season finale of Season 10. Usually there's a big death, or not necessarily a big death, but a big distinct event happening in, in the mid-season finale of every season of The Walking Dead. Alpha's death could be the big event in the mid-season fin mid finale of season 10. And I say that because in the comics, she's a little short-lived. There's the big... The, the big moment where it's revealed that she and the, and the other Whispers had killed 12 characters and put their heads on spikes... But a little bit after that, she pretty much um, she pretty much gets what's coming to her. She 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 gets decapitated herself. <laughs> um, and what happens is in the comics, um, Negan Negan escapes, and he is out just out in the wilderness, and he he, he knows what happened, and to to all the characters that got killed, and, and he knows it's Alpha's fault and it's the Whisperer's fault. And he ends up traveling to the Whisperers, to Alpha, and he, he pretends like he's just a lone guy that was just out on his own. And he, he even acts like he's in love with Alpha. Like, he's like, wow, I just met you and I'm in love with you. Some crazy shit like that. And, you know, he's just trying to trick them. And Beta doesn't like him, but Alpha starts to like him. And, and Negan tries to act like he wants to be one of them. He acts like he wants to be a Whisperer. And he's basically just lying and he's tricking them. And over time, he gets closer and closer to Alpha. And there's at some point um, at night where it's just him and Alpha together alone. And Alpha starts to really trust Negan and open up to him. But um, when she lets her guard down and none of the other whisperers are around or, you know, they're, they're paying attention, Negan kills Alpha. Negan kills Alpha in the same fashion that Alpha and the whisperers had killed the 12 characters and put their heads on sticks, you know, just decapitation. Negan decapitates Alpha with a knife. And because of all the bad shit he did to, to Rick's group, like killing Glenn and all that war and everything... He, he takes Alpha's head, puts it in a bag, and brings it to Alexandria as a peace offering, as a way of saying, look, I want to redeem myself, I want to re rehabilitate myself for what I did, I'm not getting locked up again, I went through a lot of trouble to, to kill this bitch, <laughs> you know, like, I want to help, but I'm not getting locked up. So but that's basically the end of Alpha, and from there on, Beta takes her place as the main villain for a while, so as far as the TV show goes, they could follow the same path. And they, I mean, there's Alpha, you know, there's Negan, Negan's locked up, you know, Negan's looking for redemption. So there's a lot of things that, that are the same as the comic, you know, and, and it could play out the same way. You know, Negan could escape his jail cell again. He's locked up right now, but he could escape again. And, and he is on a path of redemption, or, or at least he's, he's looking for redemption in some way. So he could end up having the same plan that he has in the comics. He could end up doing the same thing that he does in the comics. You know, he, he could go to the Whisperers and, and, and pretend like he's just a, a, a lone guy that's just out in the wilderness, and he gets close to Alpha, and then he kills Alpha and, and decapitates her and brings her head back as a peace offering. Now, that might be kind of a, a hard pill to swallow, especially with Maggie. I mean, it's just a little different in the comics than it is in a TV show when it comes to Maggie. Um, in the TV show, I, I don't see Maggie ever letting Negan um, be free. You know, I don't see Maggie ever letting Negan be out of, of his, his jail cell. If, if Maggie sees Negan, even if Negan does have Alpha's head in a bag and is, you know, trying to redeem himself, I feel like Maggie would either kill him or lock him back up and keep it that way. You know, Maggie doesn't want Negan to be a free man. He, she, she might let him stay alive, but she's not going to let him be out of his cell. 
Now, here's the thing. Maggie might not come back in the show. We don't know if Maggie is going to be in season 10. Right now, she's just playing it in the woods with Georgie, just having a grand old time. We don't really get to see her that much these days. Um, but if Maggie's not in season 10, then, then Negan's redemption story and Negan being a free man and, and, and helping them fight during the Whisperer War in season 10, that might be a little more feasible if, if Maggie's not even in the show anymore. I don't know. But as far as Alpha's death goes, they could do it the same way. And if they do it like this, then they could kill her off in the first half of season 10. They could kill her off in season 10, episode 8. Like, that could be the big mid-season finale event. And then from there on, you know, Beta's upset like he is in the comics and he wants revenge and he takes charge and then Beta's the main villain for the back half of season 10. So, you know, I, I think it could work. Um, you, you know, it, some people don't want Alpha to get her comic death and, and I, I get it. I mean, I really like what Samantha Morton is doing um, with, with Alpha, but... Ah, golly, the, I have a special place in my heart for Ryan Hurst, man. Uh, you know, I, I, I kind of want to see that. I kind of want to see Negan kill Alpha, and, and then Beta's angry and wants revenge, and then Beta becomes the main villain. You know, Ryan Hurst becomes the main villain, you know? That'd be kind of cool. And, and it's 2019, and there's some, some kind of crazy shit going on when it comes to gender politics, and, and you know, like, you... you, you Sometimes I feel like TV shows like like The Walking Dead it doesn't want to like with Sherry for example like in the comics Sherry is a total absolute bitch and and in the, in the TV show they they didn't do that and it seems like they they just they don't want to have a woman be a bitch or that you know they don't want to have a woman die violently like Alpha dies violently I don't know, like, they don't, they don't want to see, like, a, a male and female um, villain, and then the female villain dies before the male villain dies, because that's sexist, even though it's not sexist, it's just a story, so they might not give Alpha her comic death, um, you know, I, at the end of the day, I want to see, I just, I just want them to do what's best for the story, and what's best for the show, if keeping Alpha alive is what's best for the show, that's cool, but, Thinking about her comic death and thinking about what happens after her comic death, I mean, the way it drives Beta and Negan forward, I, I, I think it could work. I think it could work. I'm not completely against Alpha's comic death. I think it could be saved until the mid-season finale of season 10, and that gives Samantha more than a little time to, you know, develop the character and, and, and do a phenomenal phenomenal job. But, I mean, I'm not I'm not absolutely, totally against her getting her comic death. I don't know. But that's just me. Maybe my opinion will change when we when we get um, a few more episodes of Alpha and Samantha Warren's performance. I might just be like, no, you, she can't get her comic death. It's just too shitty of a death for her. She has to stay as the main villain. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day. So please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 380 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 400 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support matters and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we will get to that goal of 400. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes and I will see you guys later. Bye!